शुक्ला ब्रह्म विचार सार परमा महाद्याम जगत व्यापिनी वीणा पुस्तक धारिणी मभयधाम हस्ते स्पाटिक मालिका विदधती पद्मासने संस्थिताम परमेश्वरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदाम शारदा नत्वा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धा गुण्याम करोम पाणिनी प्रवेशाय लघु सिद्धांत कौदी Just before we begin, let's look at the uh, what we were discussing last time. Okay, somewhere Nami. Last time we were looking at Sarva Shabda. And before that, when we derived Rama, also looked at the sutra Nami, Ram, Nami for Rama Nam. Sorry. So Rama plus uh, Am. When we said Rama plus Am, you get Nuragama, and then Nami sutra is used for Dirgha. And here, the confusion was as to why is uh, why is the earlier sutra which which is she look at the earlier sutra here supicha supicha dirgha and nami dirgha supicha dirgha would have sufficed that is the question here supicha adantasya angasya dirgha bhavati so in ramabhyam it is used but why is not why is it not used in when am shashti bahuvachana is derived so there nami sutra is introduced by Sutrakara to bring this clarity that Nami has to be used when it is a specific sutra. And if the uh, same effect of Dirgatam would have been achieved from Supicha, why do you need Nami at all? That is the question. I looked up the Tikas, there were a uh, lot of uh, arguments on uh, uh, why Nami has to be used. The, uh, it's not that everyone agrees with the same uh, uh, way leading to the, con although the conclusion is same that Nami has to be used, uh, why it is so, on that matter, the Tikakaras differ. But the conclusion is what? Nami is one, it is a specific sutra and specific sutra is in a sense when Nam follows and Nudagama, Am Pratya Visatikana, Nudagama is Nam. So when Nam follows, that is a specific sutra and why it is introduced is because if if you say Supicha and Nami, then I had explained on uh, the group also that uh, the Sutra says Nami and if you say Supicha Dirgha, this Raswanta, Raswanta would not be there because uh, the Anga would have become Rama instead of Rama, Rama and then Raswanta will not hold good and therefore uh, you cannot get Adeshas which are based on Hraswanta. Therefore, Nami should apply and not Supicha. So, this is where we leave it. Those who are interested can look up the Tikas and try to make more sense out of it. So, that was something which was pending. Then we moved on to Sarva Shabda, which declines Ramavat, except when it is a Sarva Nama in some Vibhaktis, it, vibhaktis and in some uh, it, uh, some vachanas of some vivaktis, there is a difference in declension. Sarvadini Sarvaname, Jasashi, we are looking at Jasashi. So, Sarvadini Sarvanamani, this is a Sanya Sutra, which says the list, the Gana, Sarvadi Gana, lists out all of these, all of these, and these are Sarvanama. When they are not in the sense of, uh, see here, it is said that when they are not in the sense of Sanya, when it is not a name, if Vishwa is a name, Sarva is a name, then in that case, it is not a Sarvanama. Otherwise, it is a, when it is a Sarvanama, it gets a Sarvanama Sanya, then what will happen? Uh, jasa, jasaha, she, Jasa, she. When Jas Pratya is added, 
बिफोर जस्ट वॉट यू गेट सू औ जस्ट सो सू एंड औ विल फॉलो द राम ऑफ ऑम्स सर्व सर्व बट वेन यू कम टू जस प्रथमा बहुवचन देन दैट टाइम जस शी जस टेक शी आदेश देर फोर सर्व प्लस जस विल बिकम सर्व प्लस शी वेन इट इज अर्वनामा एंड शी कंटेंट इज ई एंड सिंस शी इज शिथ अने काल शिथ सर्व देर फोर शी कंप्लीटली रिप्लेस जस Shakara is an letter. E, Virga E is a con, is the content, and thereby Ad Gunaha Sutra will bring in the form survey. This is where we were last time. So Suam just Am Outshas. What happens in other cases? It follows like Rama. Everything else follows like Rama, except when you reach when you reach Nye. When you reach Nye. चतुर्थी एक वचन टिल देन इट विल फॉलो रामवत सो प्रथमा बहुवचन फॉर्म इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम रामा फॉर सर्वनामा नाउ चतुर्थी एक वचन सर्वनाम स्मयी सूत्र से सर्वनाम स्मयी वन सेवेन वन फोर्टीन सेवेन वन Fourteen sutra says what? We have seen this sutra near yaha. We have seen near yaha in Rama. So Rama chaturthi ek vachana. Uh, Rama plus ne ne content is a. Rama plus a. What should happen? There is no vruddhi or anything. What happens? It is replaced by yah. So near yaha we have seen and thereby you get Rama yah. Rama yah and then. Dirga, Anga gets Dirga, Rama, Ya, and then Rama Ya. Nye has Anuruti in the fourteenth sutra. So what happens to Nye Pratya? So Nye Sarva Namna Smai. It gets replaced by Smai. Just a moment. I lost a page. Yeah. Hmm. So look at the anurti, sarva namna smai, smai is the adesha. Sarva namna smai, nyehe, nyehe, smai. So in the place of nye, you get smai adesha. सर्वनाम षष्टी एक वचन सॉरी पंचमी एक वचन बिकॉज ने इज षष्टी एक वचन ने एंड स्मई इज प्रथमा एक वचन इट इज अकारांत आदेश स्मई सो विभक्ति लोप देर इज अ विभक्ति लोप हि विच इज से आर्ष प्रयोग स्मई शुड हैव बीन स्मई ही बट ही सेज विभक्ति लोप संवृत्ति से विभक्ति लोप इज आर्ष प्रयोग आर्ष प्रयोग मीन ऋषि पाणिनी ऋषि हेज मेड यूजेज लाइक दैट एंड इट इज साधु बिकॉज ऑफ यूजेज बाय ऋषि देर फोर इट इज कॉल्ड आर्ष प्रयोग विभक्ति लोप वॉट ऑज ही से लघुकार से अतः अतः मीन्स अदंत अतः सर्वनाम अदंता और अदंता सर्वनाम वॉट हैपन्स नेहे स्मय आदेश होती देर बाय सर्व प्लस स्मय सॉरी समझू मै कंप्यूटर शोट डाउन सर्व प्लस ने चतुर्थी एक वचन प्रत्यय इज रिप्लेस बाय स्मयी एंड जस्ट एड देम टुगेदर यू गेट सर्व स्मयी नो अदर सूत्र इज इन वर्ल्ड नो संधि आई सी लॉड ऑफ कॉमेंट्स ओके ओके सर्व स्मयी सो चतुर्थी एक वचन 
Prathama, Bhavachana, Chaturthi Ekvachana. These are the differences between Adanta, uh, regular Adanta and a Sarvanama Adanta so far. What happens next? Nyasi, Nyasignyoho Smatsmino. Next Sutra says Nyasignyaso, Nyasignyoho Smatsmino. Now can you tell me what is the Pratipadika for Nyasignyasoho? Sorry, Nyasignyoho, Nyasignyoho Smatsmino. What is the Pratipadika for this? I will tell you this is the Vibhakti Shashti Dvivachana. And this is Prathama Dvivachana Adesha. Can you tell me what is the Pratipadika here? Nyasi Nyoho. It is a dual. What would be the Pratipadika here? Anyone? No guesses? In fact, you don't need to guess which anta declines in Shasti, Dvivachana, which anta declines? What is the anta? What is it ending in? Sir, I am asking about the Pratipadika. Is Osa Pratipadika? What is the Pratipadika? What is the definition of Pratipadika? Yeah, Nyasi Ikaranta, we are not, is Nyasi a single word? Here Nyasi Gnoho, if it is Shashti Dvivachana, then how can you tell me what is Nyasi? Nyasi is Ikaranta is understood, but it is not Ikaranta Pratipadika or a Pada, it is part of a Samasa. What is this entire thing Pratipadika? That is the question. Nyasi is a Pratyaya. And what is the next Pratyaya? How do you identify what this is? So Nyasi Gnoho, I want the Pratipadika. For Nyasi Gnyoho declension in Shashti Dvivachana, what would be the Pratipadika? That's the question. I hope at least the question is clear. If Nyasi Gnyoho is Shashti Dvivachana, it is Shashti Dvivachana of what Pratipadika? Of which, prati, which Pratipadika will decline as Nyasi Gnyoho in Shashti Dvivachana? See, when you study sutras, you should be able to reverse engineer this. Initially, uh, I had said that uh, at least Marut Shabda you should know how it declines. So, you can reverse engineer because lot of these uh, Padas in the sutra itself are Halanta. But you should not limit your study only to Marut Shabda. It is the easiest Shabda to decline. You should know how others also decline. So, which Shabda declines? If you, if you say Nyasi Gnya, Akaranta, is it Akaranta? Then Akaranta, what would you get? Would you get Ramyoho or you would, would you get Ramayoho? I think we should do these exercises during the sutras. Otherwise, it is just a mechanical exercise. I am just uh, uh, typing something out, saying something. Everyone is hearing or listening and just they go on. But you need to be able to think and see what is the Vibhakti here. And if it is a Vibhakti, you know the Vibhakti, then uh, can you tell me Nya Pratya? Do you know Nya Pratya? So think this is a Pratya. Adesha is for the Pratya in Sarvanama. At least that way you should be able to do guesswork. In fact, you should not be doing guesswork, reverse engineering. You should know Nyasi Gnyoho. If it is Akaranta, Ikaranta, Ukaranta, which Anta at least you should know. If it is Akaranta, what is the form you would get? Nyasi Gnyayoho. Is it Nyasi Gnyayoho? It is Nyasi Gnyoho. Therefore, it is not Akaranta. Uh, you don't get Ramyoho. You get Ramayoho. You get Ram. Do you get Ramayoho or Ra Ramyoho in Shashti Dvachana and Saptami Dvachana? You get Ramayoho. Then how can it be a Akaranta? It is not Akaranta. Yeah. So, what Anta it is? It is not Nyasi Gnyayoho. It is Nyasi Gnyoho. I hope everyone knows Haryoho. Otherwise, please go back to your books, spend some time in reading these forms. Ikaranta. Haryoho. So, Haryoho, therefore, what is the Pratipadika now? 
What is the Pratipadika? Nasignyoho, what is the Pratipadika? Nasigni. So, Nyasigni is the Pratipadika. So, what does it mean? Nyasi and Ni. So, Ni. Will get, respectively, they get, they will get Smart and Smin Adesha. That is what it means. Nyasignyoho. Nyasignyoho. Smart Sminov. Smart Sminov. And smin are the adesha. Nyas and nyasi. So nyasi. Nyas and nyasi. There are two different pratyas. Nyasi gets an adesha of smart, but nyas does not get an adesha of smart. Although the content is us. Both panchami and shashti ekvachanas. Content is us. But only nyasi among those will get the replacement of smart. And ni, which is Saptami Ekvachana, will get smin. Ata Sarvanamnaha Etayoho Etaustaha. So Etayoho Nyasignyoho Etaus Matsminostaha. These are the Adesha for Adanta Sarvanama. Therefore, what will you get? Sarvasma in Panchami, not in Shashti. Shashti is Nyas, Nyas Os Aam. Panchami is Nyasib Nyasibhyam Bhyas. So, Nyasi Bhyam Bhyas, that Nyasi Panchami Ekvachana will get uh, Smat Adesha and Saptami Gni, Saptami Ekvachana Gni will get Smin Adesha. He is not doing Smin right now because uh, he needs another, uh, he needs more Sutras for Smin, but he declines Sarva Smat by saying what Sarva plus, all that is being done is Sarva plus Nyasi, which is Panchami Ekvachana. This gets an Adesha of Sarva plus Smat. And since there is, there are Anekal, Anekal Adesha is there, Smat, Anekal Shit Sarvasya. Here, Anekal Shit Sarvasya will apply. Paribhasha Sutra, Anekal Shit Sarvasya. Then, just add them together, Sarva Smat. Nothing else to do. If you know the Adesha, the form is simple. Otherwise, it's difficult. Next Sutra, he needs for for Aam. Even before he reaches Smin, other forms are to be derived. So, Sarva Sarva Sarve. Then, in Chaturthi, Ekvachana, Panchami Ekvachana and now he goes for Shashti Bhavachana. Shashti Bhavachana also form are Forms are different for between Adanta, simple Adanta and a Sarvanama Adanta. Ami Sarvanamna Sut. Ami Sarvanamna Sut. Ami is Aam when Aam Pratya follows. Saptami Ekvachana. Sarvanamna Ha. Sarvanamna is Panchami Ekvachana. Suda Deshas. Here, uh, Nyasig News. As smart you know, I didn't see 7115. So, you look at 7115 here. 7.115 also has Anurutti of Sarvanamnaha. So Sarvanamnaha, I didn't add there. Sarvanamnaha, Panchami, Ekochana. Ami Sarvanamna Sudadesha, for what? Sarvanamnaha, when the Aam Pratya follows the Sarvanama. Now which? This suit is a Sudagama. 7152. Look at 7152. Ami Sarvanamna suit. Anything else coming down? Not from nearby. 56. There is something which goes to 36. Okay, not 56. Okay, Ami Sarvanamna suit. So, Sudagama, Agama. Now, what should the Agama go to? Where should the Agama go? There is no Shashti Ekvachana at all here. So, how do you identify the Stani? Where will Sudagama go and why? There is a Paribhasha Sutra we have seen many times. 
when panchami and saptami are together which will take precedence there is a panchami and saptami which indicate panchami is purva panchami and saptami is para saptami which should take precedence para saptami means whatever precedes this is astasthani and this panchami tells you that whatever follows is astasthani so when there is a contradiction there when ubhay nirdesha sati what happens is panchami baliyan therefore sarvanamnah after a sarvanama whatever follows that will become the sthani therefore pratyaya will become the sthani not the anga and sudagama sudagama will be for the pratyaya avarnantat parasya sarvanamnah so all of these have a ata ata as the anuruti from from earlier somewhere so you have ataha ataha as the which sutra does it come from i have forgotten so you can look up from which sutra you have ataha coming from but avarnanta so here not ataha but avarna so अवर्णांतात परस्य सर्वनामनः वीतस्य आमः सुडागमस्य लेट मी लुक अप इफ आई कैन फाइंड क्विकली सो देयर इज अ आज जसेर असुक so from there you get it the where is the sutra ad 52 7150 is it yeah so this sutra has at so this at comes in earlier there was only at now uh, ataha here you have at so at tells you that at is panchami of a and a includes all other Uh, in a e un sutra a a all of this therefore at is will include not adanta not akaranta but uh, all avarna therefore he says avarnanta so at at is panchami ek vachana will go with sarvanamna adanta therefore uh, uh, adanta means avar not adanta avarnanta avarnanta parasya अवर्णांतात परस्य सर्वनामनः भीतस्य आमः सुडागमस्यात सुडागमस्यात देफोर प्रत्यय विल टेक सुडागम इन सर्व प्लस आम आमी सर्वनामन सुट सो विल गेट सर्व प्लस आम विल बिकम साम बाय द सूत्र and where will this go tidagama being a tidagama adyanto takito will bring it to the initial we will to, to the beginning of the pratyaya here panchami baliyan and therefore pratyaya will take the sudagama and sudagama will apply to to the beginning of the pratyaya adyanto takito sam now what will have happen to sam what will this do this is a bahuvachana so bahuvachana jhalyet it's a jhalanta uh, it is jhaladi sorry jhaladi pratyaya therefore bahuvachane jhali et jhali pare jhalado pratye pare so jhalado pratye pare and which is a bahuvachana pratyaya bahuvachane jhalado pratye pare angasya एद आदेश होती सो एद आदेश विल ब्रिंग व्हाट विल ब्रिंग एकारा टू अकारा देयर फोर दिस विल बिकम सर्वे सर्वे एंड साम बाय वचने झलिए दिस इज व्हाट ही सेज एज एत्व 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 सत्वे सो एत्व एंड सत्वे एत्व हैज हैपेंड बाय बहुवचने झलिए एंड देन व्हाट विल हैपन सत्व how will you get satwa does anyone know how sakara becomes shakara how 
how sakara shatwa how shatwa will be there which sandhi sutra will apply here earlier few sutras back we had seen adesha pratyu this is a sakara is here what it is a sudagama sudagama is a adesha to the pratya you can say pratya but it has taken an adesha sut sut is an agama but that is also a vidhi and adesha therefore pratya sakara it is not it is not a pratya sakara sakara here although it it need not be pratya sakara we can take it as adesha sakara also although it is part of a pratya now but it was not ordained as a pratya sam is not a pratya pratya is am but sakara is ordained here therefore this sakara which is an adesha pratya, adesha or a pratya any adesha or a pratya sakara when preceded by an in or a ku ka varga letter or a in pratyahara letter here ekara is in pratya pratya uh, in pratyahara antargata therefore uh, in ko ho adesha pratyo ho murdhanya sakara se murdhanya adesha bhavati thereby sarve sham so shattom is by in ko ho adesha pratyo the sutra is adesha pratya yayo ho in ko ho sakarasya murdhanya what else can apply otherwise sarve va vakara Right. Here is a shatvam, not murdhanya. So it is due to that, or reva. No, yeah, yeah. So it is right. In ko ho saha murdhane me sakarasya murdhanya adesh. This shasti ek vachana sakarasya murdhanya. Akara here is uccharanartha. Or saha not akara is not uccharanartha. Akara is not uccharanartha. It is sakarasya sakarasya murdhanya. So it saha is like marutaha this it is saha thereby you get what sarvesham and then we have got prathama bahuvachana difference chaturthi ekvachana panchami ekvachana shashti bahuvachana and saptami ekvachana was all, already covered in smatsmino nyasignyoho smatsmino there smin is the adesha for so he didn't need additional sutra he just wanted to cover the shashti bhuvachana before coming to sarvasmin and how do you get sarvasmin sarvasmin by sarva plus ni saptami ekvachana then sarva plus smin by the sutra we saw nyasi Nyoho Nyasignyoho Smat Sminav By that you got Sarvasmin and just add them to Varnamelanam Sarvasmin Shesham Ramavat Everything else declines like Rama All other Vibhakti Vachanas decline like Rama, Evam Vishwadehe Api Adantaha and other Adantaha, Vishwadehe Api Adantaha what? Sarvanama, Sarv, all the Sarvanamas which are Vishwa etc. Vishwadehe Api Adantaha. In that Uva Shabda, see you see the list which was given here, the list which is given here Sarva, so Sarva he has declined, Vishwadehe Api, starting with Vishwa also, all of these should be treated as in a similar manner, they will decline exactly like Sarva. Now, what is this Ubha, Ubhaya, Datara, Datama? So, he gives some, some explanation for these and others, he says, are clear. So, what is Ubha? We will not spend much time on this, but Ubha, Ubha is what he says here. Ubha Shabdaha Nityam Dvivachanantaha. So, although it should decline like uh, Sarva Shabda, Sarva Nama, but Uva Shabda in the language has only Dhyavachana. There is no Ekavachana and Bahuvachana. So Uva will have only uh, dual declension. How will it decline? Uva, like Sarva, Uvabhyam, Uvayo. So Uvabhyam, there are three forms. Uva, Uva in Prathama Dhyavachana and Dhitya Dhyavachana. It is Nityam Dhyavachana Antaha. 
Ubhabhyam thrice you will get in Tritya Chaturthi Panchami Juvachana. Then Ubhayo twice you will get in Shashti and Saptami Juvachana. So Ubhav, 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 Ubhabhyam, 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 Ubhayo Ho, Ubhayo Ho. This is the declension for Ubha Shabda. Tasya Iha Patha Akajartha. Why it is included here? Is because there is an Akaj Pratya which is ordained somewhere. So there it is, it is included here for that reason to separate it from this Akaj Pratya. Uh, in that case, it will have a different declension. So Ubha is included here. Uh, he says Tasseha Patha Akaj Artha. Akaj is some Pratya which is, uh, which, which may apply to Ubha Shabda. Ubhaya Shabda Sya. Then Ubha and Ubhaya are different. What is the difference? Ubha has, is Nitya Dhyavachananta and Ubhaya Shabda Sya Dhyavachanam Nasti. Ubhaya Shabda has no Dhyavachana. It will have a singular and a plural. Ubhaya ha Ubhaye. So there is no Ubhayo. There is no Ubhayo. Ubhaya ha Ubhaye. This is Prathama Ekvachana. This is Prathama Bahuvachana. Like Sarve. Then Ubhayam Ubhayan. Prathama Dvitiya Ekvachana. Dvitiya Bahuvachana. Ubhaye na Tritiya Ekvachana. Ubhaye hi Tritiya Bahuvachana. Ubhayasmai Chaturthi, you see this Ubhaye Prathama Ekvachana is different from Rama. It's not Ubhayaha like uh, Ramaha, but like Sarve Ubhaye and then Chaturthi Ekvachana, you see the difference. Ubhaye, uh, sorry, uh, Ubhayasmai Chaturthi Ekvachana, you see Ubhayasmai. Everything is like Rama. All these are like Rama forms. This Ubhayaha and Ubhayam, Ubhayan, Ubhayena, Ubhayaihi. Ubhayasmai Chaturthi Ekvachana is different. Then uh, you see, panch, Panchami Ekvachana is different, Shashti Bhavvachana is different, Ubhayesham, Ubhayasmin, Smin you see, Smat Smino, so you see Smat here, Smat Smino, and then here you see Shashti, uh, you, you Shashti Bhavvachana, you have different from here, because there is a Sudagama here, Ubhayesham, this is a Sudagama. Everything else is like Ramavat, so... Then what is Datara Datama? Datara and Datama are Pratyas. Therefore, Datama, Datama, Datara Datama, Pratyayu. These are Pratyas. And Pratyagrahane Tadanta Grahanamiti Tadanta Grahaya. There is a Paribhasha which says that Pratyagrahane, when Pratya is, or uh, when any Pratya is mentioned in the Sutra, when other are words, other are uh, the Shabdas where only these Datara Datama are Pratyas, oh, not only, but some Pratyas are also included. These Pratyas are not Sarvanama. These Ubhaya, Ubha, all these are uh, Sarva, Vishwa, these are, these are Shabdas which are Sarvanama. Now Datara Datama, Pratyas themselves do not have a declension. So Pratyas are not, uh, not Sarvanama, but they are what? Pratyagrahane. When Pratyagrahana is done in a Sutra, Tadantagrahanam. Iti tadanta grahya. Therefore, datara datamo means what? Dataranta and datamanta, these will become sarvanama. Sarvadini sarvanamani, in their datara is not sarvanama. Dataranta and datama is not sarvanama. Datamanta grahya. Nema, what is nema? Nema is iti ardhe. It has a meaning of ardha. When nema is in the meaning of ardha, half, that time nema is a, is a sarvanama. Then Samaha is included there, Samaha. Now Samaha has uh, meaning of Sarva, Sarva Pariyaya meaning has a meaning of Sarva or it has a meaning of Tulya. Sarva, sarva Pariyaya or Tulya Pariyaya. There are two meanings that Sama Shabda has. In the meaning of Sarva, it is a, it is a Sarvanama. But in the meaning of Tulya, it is not Sarvanama, no. So Samaha Sarva Pariyaya Tulya Parayaya tu na. Samaha Tulya Parayaya tu Sarvanama na bhavati. That is the idea here. Sarvanama, Samaha is Sarvanama only when it is in the meaning of all. It is not in the meaning of uh, equal or uh, similar. That kind of meaning does not decline like a Sarvanama. Yatha Sankhyam Anudesha Samanam iti Nyapaka. How, how do they know? So Tikakara or Lagukara has found out that there is a Sutra which is Nyapakam. Yatha Sankhyam Anudesha Samanam Iti, there, through that he says, otherwise, I mean, the conclusion here, this is difficult to understand, I was looking at what is the meaning here, so what he is saying is that Yatha Sankhyam Anudesha Samanam, where as many are there in the Sthani, so many are there in the, uh, in the Adesha, then there is a one-on-one -on -one, uh, replacement. Now, in that Sutra, what is known, 
is that yatha sankyam samanam through that what nyapaka through that they have found out that here the sutra says sarvadini sarvanamani otherwise had he uh, meant this sama he is, so one tikakara there he says that he would have said uh, uh, samadini so uh, some other word would have been used sama would have been included there so sama is not included there therefore it is this sutra is nyapakam don't dig much into it i do not know more than this i have just looked up the tika as to what this means for us what is important is the earlier part as in samaha sarva paryayah tulya paryastu if you want to dig in it please dig in on your own because yatha sankhyam anudesha samanam iti nyapakat how this is nyapakam even i do not know uh, what i could see is that this word sama is not included that is how the sama is not included in this sense sarvadini sarva namani was said samaha is not included in the sutra otherwise he would have brought in samaha and listed it separately if he meant something else as in if he meant as sama as a word for uh, as a common word which will become sarvanama he has not listed it it is included in the group sarvadini sarvanamani therefore this is how sampradaya teaches that you the, the difference is known from tulya paraya so samanam so here uh, actually sama is used here samanam so it is samanam he would have said something else so this sama included here the sama uh, you know, I, i'm sorry in fact uh, I, it just occurred to me i was just looking up uh in the tika i just looked up at the last, last moment so sa- samana why it is nyapakam okay uh, it is easy in fact it is not complicated i lost track because i was running late and i just uh, landed on this and i said what is this so nyapakat means what this sutra has used samanam samanam this sama is used here samanam here is tulya tulyarthe and tulyartha is declined like samanam like ramanam it has taken am pratya with a nudagama it has not taken am with a sudagama so had it been uh, in uh, tulya artha also so samaha in tulya artha also had it been a sarvanama it would have the sutra would have read yatha sankyam anudesha uh, samesham but the sutra does not say samesham what does it say samanam therefore when sama is listed here and it has been declined differently not like a sarvanama then what does it mean in different meanings it de- it becomes a sarvanama or it declines like a sarvanama or it does not decline so samanam here declines differently when it is in the meaning of tulyartha it will become samanam in, sh- in shashti bahuvachana and shashti bahuvachana samanam is a nyapaka it reveals that in in the sutra so this sutra is a nyapaka to tell you that samanam sama when in the meaning of tulyartha then in the meaning of tulya it will decline like rama not only in shashti bahuvachana everywhere it will not take this uh, smart smino ityadi but it will decline like rama shabda and when samaha is in the meaning of sarva then that time it will decline like sarva and it will become same samesham it will become in shashti bahuvachana and same smart ityadi whatever samasmai uh, so it will decline that way so uh, i am thankful that i clarified that i i was not sure what this means because i looked up only towards the end of the uh, time that i was running out with. the next sutra the next sutra see so by that we have completed sarva declension and sarva nama declension adanta here he includes uh, include some other words which are also sarva nama but they he says they purva para so he says purva paravara dakshinottara para dharani vyavasthayam asanyayam so these words purva para avara dakshina uttara uttara dakshina uttara pa, uh, apara apara and adhara uh, apara adhara adharani vyavasthayam asanyayam some vyavastha is there in, in when that vyavastha is followed that time these will become what asanyam and when they are not asanya then what 1134 says 1134 so see 1134 is after what this is section we ran into for sarvadini sarvanamani see, this sutra sarvadini sarvanamani we had seen and this has an anurti sarvanamani sarvadini goes to 32 and sarvanamani goes to 
Our sutra is 34. Here you have Sarvanamani. So Purva, Para, all of these words which are mentioned, they are what? Sarva Namani. They are Sarvanamas when Sarvanamani is a Sanya given here. Sanya Sutra, these Prathama, Bhuvachana, and when Vyavasthayam, Asanyayam, Saptami Ekvachana, when there is a particular this Vyavastha and Asanyayam, when they are not Asanya. He says, Lagukara says, Etesham Vyavasthayam, Asanyayam, Sarvanama Sanya, Gana Sutra, Sarvatraya Prapta, Sajasi Vasyat. And what is, what is the Anurutti here? You see Jasi. Jasi has an Anurutti till 36. So you have Jasi. Jasi, Sarvanamani, Jasi. When Jaspratya follows, that time, she says what? Etesham Yavasthayam Asanyayam Cha Sarvanama Sanya Gana Sutra. The Gana Sutra which has listed this Purvapara, all of these which have been listed in the Gana Sutra, Sarvadini Sarvanamani. So you see Sarvadini Sarvanamani. Sarvani, he has listed these and then he says Purva Para Avara Dakshino We have seen this Vyavasthayam Asanyayam. So there is this, this sutra also is included here. Uh, and Swam Ajnati Dhanakhyayam. There are some conditions when uh, they are not in uh, this. Uh, Swam will become a Sarvanama when Ajnati Dhanakhyayam. So we skip this because uh, I myself have not seen these. So if you look up these, why they decline like a Sarvanama and why they do not decline like a Sarvanama, then there is a particular Vyavastha. So this is the Vyavastha. Vyavasthayam, Asanyayam, there are particular conditions which are given. Antaram Bahir Yogopa Sankhya Nayoho, this is the Vartika, which says that Antara also will become Sarvanama in a particular Vyavastha. These are also are these are also Sarvanama. But in this Sutra, Purvapara, what is he saying? When just follows, that time what happens? This va, there is a, uh, see, swam ajnati dhanakhyam is also, these are all taken as vartikas in that sutra or listed as vartikas in that sutras or these other sutras are listed there because you have to read that earlier sutra with these, with these sutras and thereby there are, there is some vyavastha and there is some vibhasha also possible. See, Vibhasha Jasi, this 36 marks, this is not Jasi, Vibhasha Jasi, the entire sutra goes till 36. So he says, Vibhasha, Vibhasha, there is a Vibhasha, as in there is an optional form, Vibhasha Jasi. Only when Jaspratya follows, there is a Vibhasha of this Sarvanama declension of this Purva Para, Avara, Dakshina, Uttara, Aparad, uh, Adhara, Ityadi. So, etesham vyavasthayam asanyam cha, and when they are not a sanya, what happens? Sarvanyam asanya gana sutra sarvatraya prapta. What is that gana sutra? Sarvadini sarvana. Sarvadi is a gana in which all of these are already listed. So, uh, this is sarvanama, but sarvanama will have a jasi. When jas pratya follows, there is a vibhasha. The sarvanama is a, has a vibhasha. It's an optional declension. It will decline Ramavat or it will decline like a Sarvanama. So there may be two forms possible. So far we saw either it is Ramavat or it is like Sarva, Sarvavat, Sarvanama. Now there are some Shabdas in a particular Vyavastha when they are not a Sanya, that time they will be Sarvanama or they will not be a Sarvanama only when Jaspratya follows. Just is Prathama Bhuvachana. So Ya Prapta, which is already Gana Sutra Prapta, Sarvatra. It is Sarvatra Prapta, Ya Prapta, Sa Jasi Vasyatva, Vibhashaya Syat. It will become a Vibhasha and thereby you can have two forms. Purva can become Purve or Purvaha. Purvaha is Ramavat, Ramaha and Purve is Sarvavat, Sarve. So therefore Purve or Purvaha both are valid when they are not a Sanya. Asanyayam Kim, what, mean, what is the mean? Why does he say Sanyayam? Asanyayam Kim, Uttaraha. Kuravaha. So this is a little tricky to understand. Uttaraha, there it has not become a Sarvanama itself. So Sarvanama declension itself when Jashi follows is optional. But when it is a Sanya, then it is not optional. Meaning what? It will not optionally decline like Sarvanama. It will 
decline like Rama alone when it is a Sanya. So here the Sanya, it is going with Sanya. So here what is it said? It is when Purva, Purvaha, it is, uh, it is having two declinations. Here only one declination why Uttaraha and not Uttare because this Kuravaha is a Sanya which is made, uh, made here, here Kuravaha, Kuru. So Kuru Desha, that's what it means, Uttaraha Kuru Desha. So it is going as a Sanya with it, the, the northward Kuru Desha, whatever is northward Kuru Desha, that northward is a Sanya given to that Kuru Desha, is a Sanya, it is going with that Sanya, therefore it is not to uh, actually uh, give a direction per se, there it is going with a Sanya, therefore it has only one declension. Anyway, it's too much of detail, we don't need this so much of detail, but I'll, for completion I am uh, including this because even if you come across Uttaraha, do you understand the meaning? If you see Uttare, do you understand the meaning? I would say move on. If you are want to do a PhD on this, then go to these details as to why Uttara, why not Uttare. Unless you are writing Granthas and you want Sadhu Prayoga, Uttara, Uttare, even then I would say that if Uttara is valid, go with Uttara, why are you using Uttare at all. If you are not sure whether to use Uttare, I would say go with Uttaraha, it is valid and decline that way. Swavidhe apeksha vidhi niyamo vyavastha. And what is this vyavastha? He is explaining that this vyavastha means Swavidhe apeksha. So, you know, Swavidhe apeksha is in comparison when there is an expectancy and akanksha is there. So, if you say Purva, so Purva is what? What is this vyavastha? When you say Purva, there may there is an akanksha purva to what so it's a uh, uh, digyoga so digyoga is there that is the akanksha there when there is an akanksha then this uh, apeksha is akanksha here swabhi dheya apeksha uh, avadhi niyama so there is an avadhi so there is avadhi niyama at purva to what that akanksha is with avadhi where is the end limitation delimitation is being done and from there you are giving a uh, dig yoga, you are giving a direction from this. So, from what the akanksha is purva to what? So, in English, we will say to what purva from what or to what that when there is an akanksha, that is the vyavastha there. So, particular etesham vyavasthayam, which was said asanyam is clear, but vyavasthayam is not clear. Therefore, it says swabhide apeksha avadhi niyamaha vyavastha. That is the vyavastha. Now, he says vyavasthayam kim. Why did he say vyavasthaya? when it is, when there is a vyavastha, meaning when there is an akanksha of a direction or a delimitation, demarking something, that time there is an akanksha purva to what, uttara to what, dakshina to what, that direction has an akanksha. When there is no akanksha of a direction, then that vyavastha is not met. And since that vyavastha is not met, therefore there is no vibhasha. And in that case, he is given an example, dakshina gathakaha. So, Dakshina is not in the sense of direction at all because the word all the Dakshina uh, has multiple meanings. Here it is not a meaning which will bring about an Akanksha because you say Gathakaha, Dakshina Gathaka and that means uh, uh, Dakshina there is in the meaning of uh, an expert or something. I think there is a, there is a meaning of expertise there. Just let me look at the exact meaning. Uh, dakshina, so uh, yeah, skillful or you know that kind of a kushala. Kushala meaning is there for dakshina. So kushala gathakaha. When the, this it is said gathakaha is kushala there. That time it is not. There is no akanksha. There is no akanksha of uh, of direction. So there is a uh, uh, kushala Ithyartha, he says Kushala, so there is a meaning, I didn't have to look up here. Kushala Ithyartha, Dakshina Gathaka means Kushala Ithyartha. There is no Akansha of direction here and what does it mean? It's simple meaning is that when these Dakshina Ithyadi are in the sense of direction, that time they will become a Vyavastha and then even if it is not a Sanya, uh, even if it, uh, and when it is not a Sanya and that Vyavastha is met, Akanksha is met, then it will become a Sarvanama and the Vibhasha will take place. Otherwise, it will not get this Vibhasha at all and then it will decline like Rama. Therefore, Dakshinaha Gathaka. What is the meaning here? Dakshinaha Gathaka. 
next sutra which we already marked is Sam Ajnati Dhanakhyayam here Sam Ajna okay. it's difficult to look up the book and type at the same time I keep on losing pages okay so now this is also a little uh, tricky the meanings are tricky so Swam Swam Ajnati Swam is clear Ajnati Ajnati Dhana Akhyayam Dhana and Akhyayam So that is the uh, Saptami Ek Vachana and 1135 So what is it? 1135 says it is a Sarvanama Sarvanama and Vibhasha Jasi. So there is a Vibhasha Jasi. It's continuing. 34, 35, and 36 also. Antaram Bahir Yogopasam Vyana Yoho. Vibhasha Sarva Nama Sarva Namani Vibhasha Jasi. So this is as, as earlier. Whatever is there here, same thing. So Jnati Dhana Dhananya Vachinaha. So Ajnati Dhanakya means what? Not Jnati Vachaka, not Dhana Vachaka. Here Jnati, the meaning Jnati is Bandhava. So that is the difficult here. Jnati, what is the meaning of Jnati? Jnati here is Bandhava meaning and Dhanakya. Dhana is clear as Dhana. So Swashabdasya, this Swam, this which is included in the Gana Sutra. Here in Gana Sutra it is included Swam. Ajnati Dhana Akhyam Sarvanama. It becomes a Sarvanama. Swashabdasya Prapta Sanya Jasiva. So when Jas follows, there will be Vibhasha. This Sanya will, Sarvanama, you will get as a Vibhasha when Jas Pratya follows. Therefore what? Sve like Sarve or Swaha like Ramaha. That is the declension. Vibhasha. I'll just finish this Sutra and the next one. And we'll stop. So Swaha like Rama or Sve like uh, like Sarva. So Sarva Nama if it becomes in when just follows that time when it is what? Not Jnati or Dhana Akhya. So Swam also has the meaning of Dhana. It also meaning has the meaning of Jnati. Jnati meaning what? See Jnati is more difficult to understand than Swam. Swam mean what? Swasya. So, Atmiyaha. Our own, our own people. So Bandhava that is the meaning of Jnati uh, and when is not the meaning of Jnati, Atmiyaha, Atmanaha, Itiva. So, this is the idea here as Sve. So, so becomes Sve or Swaha when it does not mean. Swam as Dhanam, it will be in what? Swaha only. But Sve, when will it get? When it is not Dhana or when it is not our own. Atmiyaha, Atmanaha, Itiva. Jnati Dhana Vachinas tu Swaha. She says, Swaha Jnata Yoho, there are some typos here. So Swaha Jnata Yoho Athava, so Jnata Yoho Athava, Jnati Dhana Vachinas to Swaha Jnata Yoho Athava, so you will get you will get Jnata Yoho there, Jnati Vachina, in that meaning you will get Swaha. Swaha is the declension, not Sve. That is the idea here. Let's move on. Antaram Bahir Yoga, Yoga Upasamva Vyana Yoho. This is another sutra which is making Vibhasha, Vibhasha Sarvanama Sanya for just, only when just follows. Antaram Bahihi. In fact, if you uh, look at uh, Bahimi, there are a lot of details on to how these decline and he is uh, given a table. If you are interested and if you have Bahimi, you can look up. But I particularly don't find much uh, that it brings much value to see all this. 
at least for our purposes. So by he, paridhani ye cha arthe antara shabda se prapta sanya jasiva. Jasiva what? Sarvanama prapta sanya. What is that sanya? Sarvanama sanya. Sarvanama sanya when just pratya follows, vibhashaya bhavati antaram bahi. So by he, paridhani ye. He says, in the by he and paridhaniya artha. What is paridhaniya? I'll have to look up paridhana. I myself do not know what is paridhana. Paridhana artha is what? Uh, Tatpariya antariyam. So, antariyam. It means, uh, it's, it's, a, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a word for some inner wear. So, in that meaning, by he, so when something which is the, is in the meaning of inner wear uh, or some particular of clothing, then that uh, paridhani cha arthe antara shabda se prapta sanya jasiva. So in that kind of a meaning, it has a sarvanama sanya vibhasha in jas. So therefore you will get antare antara va grihaha bhaiha ityartha. So whatever is the meaning, that antara, antare antara va shatakaha Paridhaniya ityartha. So I'll skip this. Uh, I hope you have understood. And not very important. Uh, it's in the some particular sense of a word which is used for some particular clothing. There jasi vibhasha. So antare like sarve and antaraha like antaraha like ramaha. That is the coverage of these sutras. I hope that we run into less these kind of sutras and more into uh, derivations. Uh, we'll stop here. I'll continue with the. I think this this will go on for quite a while till we reach. Uh, I think some three four more sutras where you'll uh, will quickly go through those. As wherever there is a vibhasha, he is covering those in this uh, this section of one one uh, the thirty five tiyari. There he is covering some uh, vibhashas wherein some forms are uh, like sarvanama and some are not like sarvanama, and the reasoning is given as to. Uh, what kind of meaning it covers. Vrtavasane Nataraja Rajo Nana Dhadakkano Panchavaram Uddhar Tukama Sanaka Disidhan Eta Vivarshe Shiva Sutra Jalam. So, any questions? I'll just clarify. Uh, the class was a little dull today. Because uh, I myself am not up to these kind of sutras. Uh, we have given uh, uh, these kind of sutras a leg by. Uh, because we focus on, we, I, in fact I didn't study the uh, Lagu methodology at all. I studied the Ashtadhyayi methodology and we looked at sutras which are important and give more mileage. These, see, these sutras you don't get much. These, even if you study it, still it is very difficult to remember this. You will have to still look up the sutras and the meaning and why the form is like that. So these are not going to give you much. You will you will actually just get a uh, get a link as to what to look up when, why there is a particular declension and uh, which area to look up. This is all that you will get from this. Even if you study much, I would say rather than spending more time on these sutras, we are covering because I had committed lagu prakriya and I'll try to do as much justice as possible. But uh, I would urge you not to spend much time on these sutras. Instead. Spend time on these sutras which are Paribhasha sutras and uh, in derivation of Rama Shabda and in Sarvanama also. What are these uh, Adesha and Adesha Bheda? Whatever is related to Sanya, uh, you can look up the area and leave it at that. In the Ashtadhyayi, not even in Lagu, I'll say look up the area in the Ashtadhyayi because you'll get the entire set together. See, if you look up uh, why a particular, uh, if, if you have a doubt why a particular form is like that, there is a vibhasha, you see uh, Sarvanama section. So, Sarvadini Sarvanamani, in this section 1127 to 1136, you will have some kind of variations. So, till 1136. If you know this area, it is sufficient for our purposes. You, you will have to anyway look up why swam declines in a particular manner in, uh, uh, in, 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 in a particular context. And in another context, it declines differently. So this is the area to look up and you will find it. Even if you study this, you will still have to look up unless you have really extremely good memory. So Ajnati Dhanakhyam. So Ajnati also you will have to look up. Ajnati, what does Ajnati mean? So Ajnati will have to look up the dictionary and even after the dictionary also you will have to look up the 
tika as to why uh, what the meaning of jnati uh, and ajnati so these are very technical words and uh, may not be very common with at least i didn't know that ajnati means bandhava i do not know unless i look up the vritti i'll not understand even in sanskrit vritti if i don't understand i'll have to look up the examples given or uh, look up some other translations to see the meaning or go to the tika levels therefore i say these are not these important sutras it just gives you an area see prathama charama tal these are also have some particular meanings and these are also have some kind of a declension when just follows only one form out of many out of 21 24 forms you will get one just pratyaya in that area how is the declension so i'm just spending more time to tell you that why you should not spend more time on this any questions okay so i'll see you in the next part ha huh? on thursday i hope we go across this and then continue with the uh, rest where it makes more sense there are too many sutras uh, in fact uh, subanta itself there are too many sutras which give you very less mileage so subanta if you know the forms don't spend much time on the uh, sutras sutras are only to understand sadhu prayoga uh, but i would say learning tinganta with sutras makes a lot more sense which i have told earlier as well anyway i'll see you in the next part namaste